What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to G Miles World. And I know, I know, I know, Gold of Ticket Lamar Jackson had the wildest fumbling game of his career, you know, with the last video. But I've decided that it's time to move on from Cam Newton simply because, I, you know what it is, bro? The dude just misses a lot of throws. And if I'm not in an offense where I really need him to be, you know, Cam, you know, pretty much get those tough yards, run a QB run, and not go for six, because pretty much he's. The 93-94 speed, that's so slow compared to Lamar Jackson and these other quarterbacks. It makes it very, very difficult to run a run a QB run-first offense. So a lot of you guys know we tried the Ravens playbook, um, I want to say maybe two months ago, and then we went to several different playbooks. But what I'm trying to explain to everybody is this, right? When I'm trying these different things out, I do it because, you know, number one, it's nothing else going on right now. And number two, I want to be prepared for what's coming in Madden 21. And some of you guys are like, what do you mean by that? Well, the cover athlete is Lamar Jackson. All right, so the cover athlete is usually the person that the game is gonna be loosely based on. For instance, we're playing Madden 20 right now for those of us who are still playing it, and it's all about the wildest throws ever because it's based off Patrick Mahomes. Now, we all know not every quarterback can make those throws, but in Madden Ultimate Team, you can get those abilities to do that. So for me right now, getting used to a mobile quarterback, it's letting you guys know that I'm ready to go, um, you know, for what's going to be coming next inside of uh, Madden 21. Because if he's the cover athlete, I'm pretty sure they're going to, it's going to be advantages to running that read option. Like I, I told you guys this, even before, you know, before Madden 20 dropped, when we found out that Patrick Mahomes was on it, we, look, if you go back to the videos, I told you, it's going to be some wild throws going on because Patrick Mahomes has done some things I don't think I've ever seen ever in my life, bro. The dude runs back, he pretty much, like, he just does whatever he wants and he's able to throw the ball from any position, any kind of stuff, and he has a track team and he has the arm strength to do it. So, you know, EA Sports realistically did not do anything wrong as far as making him be able to do that. The problem is in Ultimate Team, when everybody has those abilities, it becomes pretty much more of a hassle, all right? so. You know, as we jump into the game right now, like I'm telling you guys, I'm gonna, you know, try to stay with the mobile quarterbacks because I have a feeling that's the future of the game. All the quarterbacks right now, most teams that are having success, look at our MVP Lamar Jackson from last season, the QB can do more than just stand in the pocket. Okay, that's a huge thing. And Mahomes is not the fastest quarterback, but if you just go out there and play coverage, he's gonna run that thing for like 10, 15 yards. So, you know, the mobility of the quarterbacks is a huge part. Obviously, like I said before, as far as the throws go and all the other weird stuff, I can't justify what people are able to do in this game, and I don't think you can either. Because I'm gonna show you guys in a couple more gameplays that there are some wild things that's gonna be going on, all right? Now, whether that's something that is supposed to be in the game or not supposed to be in the game, it doesn't matter. The abilities allow for you to do this. So if the abilities allow for, why did I get caught on sap? That's good, good play right here, good play right here. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, missed the tackle too. Yo, Asamoah, yo, this dude Namdi, dog, bro. I remember I used to call him Asamuga, then he was like, it's Asamoah. I don't know how to say it. And I don't really care, dog. You get burnt again, you're off the team. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you know, mano y mano, like whatever you want to do it, bro. I, listen, I don't, the dude just got burnt deep for six and he couldn't make the tackle at the end of it. That's a problem for me. So um, don't worry about that for now. We'll deal with him later, but again, just so you guys understand, it looks like even if I raid sell Lamar Jackson, that more than likely we're gonna just stay with the mobile quarterbacks. I gotta get used to moving around in the pocket. I gotta get myself out of that, you know, just stand there, throw dot type of situation, AKA just moss a dude uncontrollably. I gotta really chill it, you know what I'm saying? I gotta chill it out. Because what's happening is, and most of you guys have been noticing it, I don't know exactly how the animations are going to be based in Madden 21, but if it's anything like the demo or the beta, you're gonna have still, you know, a situation where players are able to like make up space very, very unrealistically. You know what I'm saying? So if that's going to continue to be the case, pick me off real quick. Good job, man. That great pick right there. Even though the dude's 6'5 and he's jumping right there, great pick. Run it for 6'2, and when you're done, let me know what you want to do afterwards. Like, you want to go out on a date? Like, yo, bro, listen, dog, what the. Oh, you're gonna run stretch. Okay, so you see this A stretch right here? It's a very, very wild stretch, and I'm gonna tell you why, right? If you try to run that edge blitz against this stretch, he's gonna probably go for six. And um, 
that's one of the main reasons why I'm not gonna run Edge Blitz, because like I said, a lot of these formations, if you just look at them and you play them and you understand it, you can figure out yourself why certain things don't work, like the run fits and the way the players play, because that's what I pretty much do for myself. I look at the way that it's lined up. You see look how they're spread out there? Um, you know, the linebackers, but the, you know, the, uh, my, my D ends are in the D tackle and the two D ends, they're in like solid like that. It's a reason for that in certain formations right there. He just gets sacked. I don't know what he was doing, but you got to pretty much learn the alignment. And also in Madden 21, you guys have seen it. A lot of the, uh, you know, the more skilled linemen are going to be able to remember the way that you pass rush. And a lot of that stuff is going to, you know, affect the way we blitz going forward. So I do believe that it's going to be a little bit more skill based because a lot of things have been coming out about 21 and so many questions, but because of the fact that we don't know a lot about Ultimate Team, it's not really as exciting yet. You know what I'm saying? Once the Ultimate Team info drops, that's when it becomes exciting. I had to moss him because he was activated. Because I, I know he thought because he was activated that I wouldn't throw it to him, and that's when I throw it. You know what I'm saying? Because like, it don't matter, activation, not, it, yo, bro, look, I'm gonna moss you. It, it don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it don't really matter. It's like me and your mom's going out on a date. It's meant to be. Like, you're gonna get mossed. Abilities, no abilities, whatever. So look, once we get into 21, right? And we figure out exactly what the gist is, what abilities does what, what's going on. You guys are gonna remember that I was telling you this. For those of you guys that are writing it out with me, you know, for the last month of Madden 20, you guys will remember it. Similar to last year. A lot of the dudes from last year, same thing. You guys remember, I always try to prepare you for what's coming. Because if you play the beta, you understand a few things, Doc. Number one, the QBs can still move outside the pocket. The QBs can, you know what I'm saying? So it's not like it's a situation where escape artists is going to be completely nerfed. Will it go back to making it be like the, uh, you know, Michael Vick in 2004 Madden? Probably not. But you're going to still have an advantage. So with the corner routes, obviously you got that little depth thing where you can set the depth for your zones and they can float back and be over there. So maybe we won't get killed as much with corner routes, but there'll be a route that's unstoppable. It's always a route that's unstoppable, dude. Like, that's just what it is. Now, will it happen at launch though? You see, that's the million dollar question. Will it happen at launch? Or will it be a patch that creates all the craziness that goes on? Most of you guys are gonna say, you know, more than likely it'll be the patch, Jemaya. And you're probably right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're probably right about the fact that maybe the patch is gonna do some weird things. But I can tell you this right now. Regardless of what happens in the game, Lamar Jackson and any other mobile quarterback that is created, whether it's a, you know, legend, whatever, whatever they do with the cards, those, those speed, uh, uh, you know, quarterbacks are going to have some type of benefit. It, that's what it's gonna be. It doesn't matter about anything else. It's gonna be some type of benefit. So whether you guys wanna use Lamar Jackson or not, it doesn't matter. If you wanna prepare for, go for six, dude. If you wanna prepare for it and understand a little bit more of what I'm trying to explain, you know, you're gonna to have to probably try out at least one or two, you know, mobile QBs just to kind of get the feel of what's happening. Now, some of you guys have already pre-ordered Madden and you want that power up with Lamar Jackson and you're ready to go. Just understand what you're getting yourself into. See, that's something that you have to understand. You're gonna to need to really base what your decision making is gonna be on, you know, if you spend that $100, I think it's like $100 or something like that, uh, for that edition of the Madden. When you do that, bro, you gotta be all in to start the year. Now, I still have not disclosed who my quarterback will be starting Madden 21. And I've been getting numerous questions about it. I'm not gonna disclose that yet because I have to wait until I see what they do as far as how they're gonna lay out the players that are gonna be available. For instance, what Madden was it with where, um, I think it was like, what was it, 19? Where uh, Randy Moss was just available at launch. It was like 18 or 19, what, one of those. I don't remember what it was, but I, it depends on the receivers that are available and the running backs that are available at launch, how we build our team. Because it may turn out that we necessarily don't have to be with that fast of a QB as Lamar Jackson because there'll be more benefits to having a stronger arm QB that still has a little bit of mobility. So I'm not gonna go ahead and say, yeah, bro, it's definite, we're going Lamar Jackson, but I will tell you this, I will be able to move around this year. You guys have watched me, you know, utilize, uh, what was, what's this idiot's name? Uh, Troy Aitman uh, throughout the year, win so many games with sitting in the pocket. 
it, it doesn't work, dude. You gotta be able to move around. And for those of you guys that are wondering, like, yo, Jimai, you jumped into another game. Yeah, that last dude rage quit. We had to do what we had to do. Well, he didn't rage quit, he conceded. However you wanna do it, bro, he couldn't take no more. Hit stick this idiot. Well, um, so this guy right here with the ugly uniforms, um, he's just gonna go ahead and get dominated right quick. Then he's gonna go ahead and do a push-up contest with his dead cockroaches. But again, we're gonna be moving forward with Golden Ticket Lamar Jackson. That does not mean that you need Golden Ticket Lamar Jackson. I'm just letting you know that he, this card has everything. It has the throw power, the accuracy, and the speed to obviously run the Ravens offense, which is what we're currently running. Now, if I decide to change the offense, what next? We'll figure it out. We got about a month left before more information starts dropping about 21. Um, you know, obviously all they're doing right now is the ratings. If you guys want me to talk about the ratings, that's cool, but I think we should probably save all our energy for all the new additions that's going to be added to Mutt. I think that that'll be a little bit more exciting for us on the channel, but again, you can let me know if that's something that you would like uh, me to talk about, um, and we could get into that if it is, but I'm more excited about the Mutt. Like, what cards are we getting? Are they going to continue to go along those lines of giving us some sick cards uh, that we haven't had in a while? We'll be, you know, we'll wait and uh, patiently wait to see exactly what EA decides to do. I want to thank all you guys for riding with me throughout July. Thank you guys so much. Continue to be safe. Check me out on stream via Twitch and here at YouTube. Until next time, one love, y'all.